All right, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the newest version of Backtrack, which is Backtrack 5. A little background about Backtrack. Uh, it's basically a, most commonly used as a live CD and specializes in penetra penetration testing software, which all comes preloaded on it. So um, it's a really useful env um, environment to get used to if you're going to be doing a lot of penetration testing or um, things related to that. It uh, contains uh, things to um, attack networks, um, binaries, really any kind of tools you would ever need. Um, and so I'm going to really show you about a little uh, preview on Backtrack 5 and uh, some of the new features about it. So um, the first thing we're going to need to do is head over to the Backtrack website, which is backtracklinux.org. And uh, as you can see, they uh, redesigned their um, website a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Um, so Backtrack 5 was released. And so we're going to head down and uh, download it. So we're going to do images. And first we're just going to look at what it looks like. So you can see um, a few screenshots of what's going on here. Um, it's based on um, KDE and GNOME. They basically redid the whole thing. And it's uh, really interesting because it looks a lot nicer than the uh, original. So um, when you want to download it, you have the option to uh, register it. And that helps them uh, get some information about who's using it. Uh, I already did that, so I'm just going to do this now. And um, I also like the new download screen, which allows you to um, select the different uh, disk images based on different forms. So um, my uh, personal favorite is GNOME. So you can select that, and you can select the arc, um, architect of what you're trying to get it on. Um, you can do 32-bit. You can select between a VMware or an um, ISO, which you can burn to a CD or a, a pen drive. I'm um, just so going to select ISO. And then you can either do a direct download or a torrent. And since it's a pretty hot item right now, I'm just going to go for a torrent. So uh, click to download, and uh, basically it's going to um, ask you if you want to uh, give them info about it. Um, I, again, I already did this, I'm going to select no now. And it's going to download it, and you can open that up in transmission. Um, I already have that downloaded. So now what we're going to do is um, go and burn it to a, li um, a live CD, um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use it. All right, let's go to that now. All right, so uh, I booted up into Backtrack, and uh, the first thing I actually noticed was how fast it is. I mean, um, I have it installed on a flash drive, um, but regardless, it's just really fast. I mean, um, here I am. I'm going to open up Firefox, and a pretty heavy-duty uh, browser, and it's, it's really responsive. Um, even the booting sequence, it took probably less than a minute uh, to go from actually boot to uh, getting a command line where I could enter commands in. Um, so what I'm going to do is just basically give a little overview of what's new on here, some things that I liked. Uh, the first thing I liked was, obviously, uh, the new desktop. I mean, um, it uses GNOME. Uh, this is one of the options. You can either use GNOME or KDE. And I really like the layout. I mean, you have, uh, it's set up into accessories, backtrack, internet, office, other, sound and video, and wine, which was, um, I'm glad wine is installed on default because... A lot of uh, tools that don't um, that don't run on Linux natively, um, you can easily install using Wine now. Um, it has the normal systems and administration for um, a, a GNOME desktop, and um, it has a lot of utilities that you can use. Um, so, to get um, the internet started, the easiest way, um, actually easier from last time, it uses the same Wi-Fi manager, is um, WICD Network Manager, and um, you can just open that up. I have it opened up in the uh, other thing over here. And um, you can connect to the different uh, wireless networks you have, and um, it makes it a lot easier. Another one where you had to start up the, um, you had to start the network. Um, this it starts up automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so now backtrack itself, the tools it has. The um, first thing I really liked was um, exploitation tools, um, social engineering tools, and a social engineering toolkit. Uh, the social engineering toolkit is one of my favorite tools actually because it um, has a lot of features that. Um, Metasploit doesn't include, which is the actual delivery. Um, so what I liked here is the um, um, social engineering toolkit web uh, method. In this case, it opens up a um, a port on your computer, and you can go there in Firefox, and it takes the entire it takes the entire um, social engineering toolkit system, and uh, makes it so that it's run here. So it's uh, Four, 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 four. All right. So um, it looks just like a Sec Maniac website. And so here are the options up here. You have spear phishing, web attack, infectious media, mass mailer, teen CHID, 
Wi-Fi tag, and then you can use it to add to update it. So uh, even once Backtrack gets starts getting out of date, you can update it that way. So if you want to scroll down, you can look at the information. Um, thanks to Dave. Um, so let's look at the web attack, which is one of my favorites. Um, specifically, a Java applet vector, and um, basically you enter the site to clone here, Google.com. The um, you can actually use a um, browser attack exploit, and there's a whole bunch of different kinds you can choose from. It, lo it gives you a lot more um, um, power over it than the, in, um, the command line. Uh, social engine toolkit which is uh, an interesting way to uh, do it payload options so you can select from different kinds um, just like before um, reverse TCP um, interpreter is best for Windows it's um, usually only for the uh, Java applet and you also have the choice to import your own the encoding options and the port and all the other types of uh, options that you have on the command line such as using it for OS X and Linux so um there we have the uh, social engine toolkit interface. I'm going to kill that and exit out. Alright, so next let's take a look at uh, privilege ex escalation, ex uh, escalation. Um, password attacks contains a nice list of offline attacks to um, crack passwords on a local computer. It also contains online attacks such as Hydra, Medusa. Uh, pretty standard stuff, same as the other kind. Um, a couple different um, VoIP attacks, voice and surveillance attacks, um, and these are useful if you're looking for some kind of privilege escalation through um, getting passwords, and a lot of uh, spoofing attacks which are um, good to use. Um, I also wanted to look at our reverse engineering. Uh, it contains a lot of tools that you can use actually. It has the uh, GNU debugger right here, um, which I actually have another video on how to use. Um, it's a really um, powerful debugger that I enjoy a lot. You can change the uh, disassembly language. Um, and you can run the program, look at what system call it's making, and it's um, useful for any um, Linux binaries that you're trying to look at. It also has um, IDA, IDA Pro, which is um, a disassembler for Windows, and so it's going to run that in Wine, which is what I have Wine pre-installed. Um, I also have the um, OLLI debugger and strace, which is system trace, which um, look at the different system call the program is looking at. And they have, um, please note that they have um, the GNU debugger and system trace in uh, as Python, um, which is different than the normal uh, binary that they come with. Um, another thing that I really liked about um, Backtrack 5 is the enhancement of the um, radio frequency identification tools. And it comes with a lot of different kinds. Obviously, you're going to need the hardware to run these. But look, just look at the list that they have. I mean, it's really come a long way since it started coming with the uh, first RFID tools. Um, they also have stress testing. They have network stress testing, such as um, C, Smurf, uh, denial, um, floods. Um, basically, what this is going to do is it's going to help you look at the network, see how it's able to react to different, um, almost like a DDoS attack. They also have um, voice over IP um, attacks, which is invite floods, stuff like that. It's basically, stress testing is um, basically DDoS tools. They also have WLAN testing, MD5, MDK5, which is an interesting program, actually. Um, basically, it contains a lot of um, exploits um, that are known, weaknesses that are known against um, Wi-Fi networks, such as um, deauthorizing other um, um, people from the access point, um, probing um, the um, ESSIDs, um, authentic authentication denial of service mode. Um, they have a lot of different um, options that you can use to... Uh, really uh, mess with the system, uh, Wi-Fi system like that. So that's another interesting thing. Um, what else is there? Stress testing. Uh, forensics. Um, I remember um, Backtrack 4, they had stuff on forensics, but they've really increased it um, and really um, made it nicely categorized. They have antivirus, digital, anti-forensics. Um, that's TrueCrypt, which is an encryption program which helps it create um, encrypted file systems uh, and files that can actually have hidden partitions in them, which is uh, an interesting little thing there. Um, they have a lot of uh, carving tools. Um, Foremost and Scalpel is a great file carving tool. I use them myself. Um, hashing tools such as MD5 sums, uh, stuff like that, um, SHA ones. Um, imaging tools, which will take like, it's like, um, think of DD. Um, but more forensics version, so you're not going to actually mess with the disk. 
Um, they have forensic suites, which is Sleuth Kit, which contains autopsy. Um, network forensics, which are like Wireshark, things to look at different packets. Password forensics, which will help, um, in this case, um, dump a SAM file on Windows. Uh, PDF forensics, um, since there's a lot of new um, exploits out there using PDFs, um, it's interesting to see a new PDF uh, forensics tools. Um, and RAM forensics tools, which takes um, volatile memory, um, a, an image of it, and will actually help you analyze that. Um, they have different reporting tools, which I actually found out they have recorded my desktop already installed. I installed it manually. Um, again, they have the services like the other backtrack versions, so you can start and stop them, like uh, MySQL, um, Apache, and SSH. And finally, they have a few miscellaneous things, um, like s install dependencies, Mac Changer. Um, another one I um, I just learned about was uh, Poncha which is a program that will help you crack uh, captures. Um, so that's really um, a basic overview of what um, Backtrack has. Um, I Overall, I'm really impressed with it. It's been redone. They spent a lot of time on it. It looks great. It um, definitely shows the amount of work that they spent on it. So um, thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed it.